It is a great satisfaction to greet you again, I hope you and your pet are well. Today we will talk about the following. Hernias in dogs and cats, types and what to do. A hernia is a portion of organ or tissue that protrudes through an atypical opening. Basically, this means that part of an organ, most commonly the intestines, or a portion of visceral fat protrudes from a body cavity, resulting in a soft lump under the skin. Hernias can be associated with any body cavity in dogs and cats, just as they can in people. 1. Types of hernias. There are several different types of hernias found in dogs and cats, all with different origins and possible complications. Umbilical hernia, originating in the navel, they are possibly the most common. The opening in the belly button allows the abdominal organs, usually the intestines or abdominal fat, to protrude through the abdominal wall. They are congenital and their size can vary. Inguinal hernia, they are found in the inguinal area or groin and can cause organs or fat to protrude into the groin. Inguinal hernias can be congenital or occur due to a traumatic injury. Diaphragmatic hernia, not visible to the naked eye, they are an opening in the diaphragm, which normally separates the abdominal and thoracic, chest, cavities. Most are due to trauma, such as being hit by a car or falling from a great height, but some are congenital. Perineal hernia, less common, perineal hernias are visible inflammations near the anus and external genitals. The opening in the perineal tissues allows fat and organs, particularly those located in the pelvis, to exit through the perineum. These are much less common in cats than in dogs. Hiatal hernia, the esophagus normally passes through the opening in the diaphragm called the esophageal hiatus. These hernias can occur when abdominal portions of the esophagus, stomach, or intestines also slip through this normal opening into the chest cavity. Most are congenital, but some can be acquired after a dog or cat has experienced an illness, such as chronic vomiting or respiratory distress. These hernias are rare in both cats and dogs. 2. How problematic is a hernia? While some hernias do not cause major medical problems, many can be quite problematic and serious. For example, parts of the intestine that become trapped in a hernia can become strangulated, meaning that the blood supply is cut off as it is squeezed through a relatively small opening. This situation requires emergency surgery, as lack of blood supply can compromise organ function and be life-threatening. Likewise, diaphragmatic or hiatal hernias that cause a large portion of the abdominal organs to enter the thoracic cavity can cause severe respiratory compromise and also require surgery to save a pet's life. On the other side of the coin, many umbilical hernias are small and only have small pieces of fat moving in and out of the hernia bulge. For the most part, these have little consequence for the pet and rarely cause problems. 3. What to do with a hernia? The first step is to take a dog or cat to your veterinarian for an examination. The presence of an umbilical, perineal, or inguinal hernia can be determined by examination alone, although additional diagnostic tests may be needed to evaluate the extent and severity of the hernia. In these cases, ultrasounds or x-rays may be recommended. Diaphragmatic and hiatal hernias are not visible externally. If suspected, a veterinarian will likely recommend diagnostic tests. Chest and abdominal x-rays are usually the first step. Generally speaking, surgery is essential for all types of hernia, except for some umbilical hernias. Due to the high risk of damage to hernia tissue, immediate surgical repair is usually recommended. Many umbilical hernias are small and of little long-term importance. After evaluation, a veterinarian may recommend a simple home check to detect any changes in soft swelling. An important note is that most hernias are congenital. This means that a dog or cat was born with this condition, usually due to genetics. It is a pleasure to inform you and help you, if you have not subscribed to the channel you should do it now, take care of yourself and your furry friend, a hug and until the next video.